Welcome everyone. So what we're looking at today is creating a summary activity using H5P on WordPress. So what this activity is, you can have a, an article with multiple choice under it to summarize the article. And you can have as many questions as you want with as many choices as you want. So we have our article and then we have our first our first question set. So the instruction says read the article and choose the correct sentence to summarize the article. So our first sentence, plastic pollutes the environment and endangers animals, plastic helps, and so on. So the correct answer here is number one. Click on that, that's correct. After we answer the first question, a second set of questions pops up or a second set of statements pop up and you can choose oh, I got that right accidentally so I have three sets it says two out of three progress two out of three but you can add as many sets and at the end let's choose the wrong one and choose the right one so at the end it tells you how many answers you got wrong and it tells you what your score is and that's it let's take a look at how we can create a summary activity Let's get started. Creating a summary activity using H5P on WordPress. So to create it, what you need to do is go to your H5P module or plugin and add a new activity and we're looking for the summary module. So I have it installed. If you don't have it installed, you can just click on get and then install it. Once it's installed, you click on it to add a new activity. And for the title, we'll just say summary. We'll call it summary. So the introduction text, which will include the article or the main body of text that you will be presenting, is right here called the introduction text. And what you're going to put here, basically the instructions and the article as well. So read the article and choose the correct sentences to summarize the article. So this is the instruction here. And then under that we're gonna add we're gonna add our article. So I have an article already copy it, I'll paste it in here, wait for it to be pasted, and maybe we'll give it a title, we'll call it biodegradable plastic, let's paste it as plain text, cannot Alright, so this is the title here. The title, we want to make it bold and also you can change the size of the text here. We're using a heading 2 for the title and we want it to be in the center. So this is our title, it's about biodegradable plastic. We have our article, two paragraphs. Then, from then on, we move down to the summary. And as you can see, each summary has a set of statements and each set of statements will be presented as a multiple choice where you can choose one of the statements. That means, for example, we're going to add three statements on the first page. That means I will have three statements. One is true and two are untrue. One correct and two incorrect. You can add as many statements as you want but we'll keep it at three. I think three is three is good. I've already written my statements and the, what you need to know about this is that the first the first statement is always the correct statement. So your correct answer will always go in the first statement. 
and it will be scrambled, it will be randomized when it's presented to the user. So the first statement is plastic pollutes the environment and endangers animals. So this is a correct statement to summarize some of this article. So that means the next two will be untrue. The second statement, plastic has helped the earth and the environment. Obviously that's not true. And the last one, plastic is becoming more expensive. This is not mentioned in the article. So for this purpose, for our purposes, it is false. And at the end, you can add a tip. So the tip would be just a hint. For example, read the first paragraph. So if they read the first paragraph, I'm telling them that the answer is in the first paragraph. So this is the first set of statements. Then you can move on to another question, to another part. So for example, the first question for me is basically asking about the first sentence or the second, first and second sentences. So if you want to ask about the, the next sentences or the next idea in the article, what you want to do is you want to add, add, a, add another statement, which adds another set. So you have add statement, it just adds one statement within a set, and add statement in blue adds a new set. So you can see that it is separated by a blue title, a blue heading. So this is the second set. And again, the second set will be three sentences. And the first one will be the correct answer. And the rest would be false. So let's do that very quickly. We'll just paste, paste, incorrect. And the last one also incorrect. And for, for a tip, I can say, read the end of the first paragraph. That's a tip. So I've got my three sentences. And finally, I'm going to add a third set of statements. And I'll add a statement within to make them three statements. The first one is the correct one. So let's put the correct one. Plastic can be degraded. As nutrients to the soil that's correct second sentence is not correct third sentence the plastic can't be degraded that is not an idea within the article again correct answers have been designated and for a hint I say read the second paragraph Okay, so now I have my three sets. I have my three sets of questions. I don't want to add any more statements. I have my article, my title, and my instructions. So if I look at the feedback, I don't really want to change any of this. And the next part is text overrides to override the default text that shows in the activity. I don't want to change this. There aren't many there aren't many options that are custom to this activity. The overall feedback and the text overrides they're basically there for most activities. They're the default settings. So I don't want to display a toolbar under my activity and click on create and we should have our summary activity. Good, so we see the instructions here, read the article and choose the correct sentences to summarize the article. We have our article here and we have our first set of statements. So I know that the correct answer is 
The second one, plastic pollutes the environment and endangers animals. And I have here my hint that says read the first paragraph. So let's pick the correct answer for the first one. And it tells me I got the first part right. So I have the second sets of, set of questions. Let me get the second one wrong. So I'll choose the wrong one. So it's told me that that is the wrong answer. So I have to choose again. I'll try to choose again. And it's told me that this is the wrong answer as well. So I choose the correct answer. We can't change these options. This is the only way this activity behaves. And for the last one, we'll just choose the correct answer. Okay. So it's telling us the progress. It means we finished all of it. That's correct. We got all the answers, but it's also given us how many wrong answers we got in the process. That is two. And our overall score is two out of three. We got two correct and one wrong. That's basically it. So to take this and put it on your website, you need to copy the short code. So copy the short code and put it in a, in a new page or in a new post. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new post. And I'm going to put it into a new post. Okay, we have our new post for the title. For the title of the post, what we're going to call it is number 14. And it's just called a summary. What you want to do is you want to add a new block. And this block should be a short code block. So WordPress knows how to interpret it. And we'll paste our short code in here. And we're going to publish our post. That is basically it. And we're going to view our post to see what it looks like on our website. And it's nice, it's neat, it is interactive, doesn't look bad at all. Try to get the wrong answer, the right answer. I got one correct out of three, and I made two wrong answers. There isn't a retry, there isn't a show the answers options on this activity. So this is a standalone activity again and you can include it as part of a question set or an interactive workbook if you, if you wanted to include it alongside other types of activities. That is it for now. If you have any questions or comments, please put them down below. Otherwise, thank you everyone.